Meteorologist James Gilbert. We've got uh, flood concerns in some spots as we've lost all that snow on the ground and we've got some more snow on the way. That's uh, just some light flakes starting to work their way in and that I think is just kind of consistent throughout the day. You might just notice it out there. It barely reduces visibility. Uh, could put maybe a dusting on roads this evening, but uh, not really a any significant concern for that. Rondequoit Creek, typical spot, right? Ellison Park, uh, Blossom Road, some spots, maybe water kind of creeping into some of the roadways there. That is uh, until Thursday, tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning. This is uh, the Genesee River a flood warning in effect. Mostly agricultural areas around uh, the uh, river, uh, maybe uh, near RIT, some issues down closer to Avon, Long Route 20. I haven't seen any structural damage or any flooded roadways with this, but uh, certainly could be an issue over the next few hours as we'll continue to see that water level rise just a bit. 30 degrees feels like 20. Uh, we stay below freezing uh, through the snow that we have on Friday, even through the weekend, through the month. I think we stay below freezing. Winter jackets, uh, we are wearing them for the next couple of days. So tomorrow's high temperature, 25. Uh, Friday, I think same thing, mid-20s there, and that's when we deal with the snow showers. Your commute could be tough, I think, uh, not only for the morning, but even into the afternoon as well. For all of Friday, we start to see snow by midnight, and that continues likely throughout the day. Uh, let's talk about it here with your future cast that will go hour by hour. Uh, there's that lake effect that I mentioned, uh, kind of the nuisance snowflakes. Maybe Wayne County could get a little bit extra of a boost from some lake effect, but winds turn generally out of the north. That should shred up uh, some of the uh, snow bands that may develop later this evening. And it's just cold to start off Thursday uh, in the uh, teens finishing the day in the 20s. There could be a little bit of clearing. That'll be kind of nice before the storm system arrives. Pretty large system, broad system, and it's to our south. That is key, low pressure system to our south. It could interject some warm air overhead, right? A little bit of warm air overhead can mean some sleet mixing in here, and that's what this model says. So first off, starts off as snow, heavy wet snow from about midnight to 3 a.m. Then we see that uh, rain snow line push pretty far north. I think it's all sleet for a couple hours right during that morning commute. And then this is pretty interesting. You see these little streamers here? You got the blue ones coming out of the north and then these red ones over here moving up towards Syracuse. That's the storm system. That's the center of the low moving right overhead. A lot of times when that happens, you can get some dry air to start to work its way in and then it moves on out. So what we're going to work on, what we're going to try to really focus on is on that back edge, that second half of the storm system. Let's iron out exactly how much snow we could see with that. Because before, let's call it three inches. After that could be another three inches that puts us at six but we could see a little bit of a boost of lake effect that would put us closer to eight inches plus. So yeah, I think it's gonna have some significant impacts across the region. Here's your eight day forecast. Uh, looking ahead Saturday, uh, certainly gonna hold on to the cold air. Wind come out of the north. Yep, there you go. We got some lake effect to deal with. As we get into Sunday, a little bit of a warm up.